And yes, the tropics are beginning to heat up. It's that time of the year, but so far tropical season has been a little bit low and that's been responsible to the Saharan dust. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy spoke today with a writer at the Post and Courier who went all the way to the coast of Africa where that dust originates to talk about how it impacts tropical season. Hi Griffin. Hi Chris. Yeah, 5,000 miles. That's how far the journey was for Tony Bartlemy to go from South Carolina all the way to Senegal on the west coast of Africa. He, along with photographers at the Post and Courier out of Charleston, traveled there to meet with researchers who have been studying these dust outbreaks, and they have a huge impact on the Atlantic hurricane season. Now, here are some pictures taken from space from one of the largest dust outbreaks in recent years. This was back in June of 2020. This dust plume created hazy skies all across the lower Caribbean and eventually made its way all the way to the Gulf states of the US. Some of you may remember that that was just three years ago. And thankfully, these dust outbreaks keep tropical activity from forming, although at the same time from this same region, we also get some of the worst storms that develop uh, from the West African coast, like Hurricane Hugo, for example, tracked all the way from West Africa to South Carolina back in 1980, back in 1989. So to learn more about this region, Tony went all the way to Senegal to learn about these dust outbreaks and told me a lot about how he planned this trip. You really have to do a lot of planning before you go on on a trip like this. I, you know, I could have just phoned people in, in Africa and, and I could have, you know, just done an internet search. But to really give people a sense, a texture, a flavor of what's happening, you really have to go to a place. And so for, for about three or four months, I, I spent time getting to know some of the scientists in West Africa. And so by the time I went there, I, I knew who they were and and what they were doing. It really cool that he made that just huge journey and, you know, really went the extra mile to actually meet some of the people who are seeing this dust in what he called the hurricane nursery. Really cool term that he that he uh, that I'm borrowing there for uh, for what is a, the source of a lot of some of this region's most powerful storms. And Tony had plenty more to say about this trip. You can find my full interview with him online about this Saharan dust connection on WYFF4.com. Back to you.